Call it Paul Bubba Sparks. Booty, yeah, booty, booty, rockin' everywhere. Booty, booty. But um, nevertheless, the NCCT old version, it has a lot more front office questions. It was majority scenarios. It also dealt with medical situations. Um, visual, there was a lot of EKG questions that were visual. Um, there were many questions with multiple choice answers. Um, you do not use a calculator for the test. So make sure that you know your equations. Um, and there's also no fill in the blank answers. So that was with the old version. Now dealing with the new version, I feel like it focuses focus a lot on clinical parts with the medical assistant. There's a lot of updated questions focused on patient care instead of computer skills. Um, there's a lot of detail with pharmacology now and um, phlebotomy questions as well too. But majority pharmacology, you wanna make sure you understand the prefixes and suffixes and also certain medications. Um, you know, you try to want to have down pack. And also I feel like the medical procedures have a lot more questions. So make sure you're focused on that one as What's well. What's up YouTube, it's Desi and I'm back with another video y'all. This is going to be a car talk you guys. I usually do my car talks on Wednesdays, but it's going to be a Tuesday today you guys. Um, so this video is going to talk about as far as for comparing the NCCT as far as for the 2016 version to the 2020 version. Now, um, when I first took the NCCT, it was 2018. So that was when I first graduated from medical assistant school. And um, just recently, I noticed that they updated their um, their format as far as for the test. I actually printed out, if you guys watch any of my previous videos, I actually printed out the um, and highlighted a couple of things. So this one right here is the 2020 detail plan right here. And you guys could see the version of it right up here. And then this one right here is going to be the 2015 one. So this one's the one that I had took when I first took it. So I'm going to just tell you guys the differences that I noticed. Certain things to probably kind of look out for. Now, I haven't took the 2020 version, you guys. So uh, hopefully this could be able to help you out. I just read off of most of the comments and I just based it off of the... um the study guide so hopefully this will kind of help you out so um the nccc has certain brackets as far as for when taking the test so you'll be able to see how many pharmacology questions you have you'll see how however many um medical office procedure questions you have it's kind of like that and that's what i like about the ncct because you at least want to know like okay which which um one should i focus on first so when i first first took the test you guys um i made it 66 when i first took it the second time i made it 68 this is my um this right here is to show you guys the format but this is exactly what i'm kind of focusing on today you guys just showing you guys the columns as far as for right here uh how many questions is in there all right so you have pharmacology pharmacology the old version i'm gonna tell you guys the old version versus the new version so the old version has a total of 13 questions of pharmacology now with the 2020 version it's 21 questions with pharmacology now if you guys uh look at any of my results for my pharmacology for 13 questions it's, it's a total of 13 questions that was on the old version um the passing percentage is 73 percent on that particular one i got a 61 percent this is when i had got a 68 so i'm basing everything off of my old test um Okay, so now with medical office procedures, this is dealing with infe infection um, control, also exposure control and safety. There's a There was a total of 13 questions uh, with the old version. Now there's a total of 28 questions. And with this particular one, you have to have a 71% to pass. I had a 69% on that one. Now you have medical office procedures with patient care. So I it was 19 questions on it last year. I mean, the old version, it was 19 questions. Um, now they have where the medical office procedures with infection control is kind of combined with the medical office procedures with patient care as well too. So there's a total of 28 questions. So I would say that will probably be divided with 14 questions on that one and 14 questions on um, medical procedures with patient care. So those are kind of divided, which I do like because I feel like now they're starting to focus more on medical office procedures. It's not like it's just focused on front office so, so much. Like the majority, I feel like with the medical assistant test should really just be focused on back office work. Like I know we have to have an understanding of front office work, but the majority of the time we're going to be moving and doing a lot of stuff in the back office, depending on which position you get, but majority medical assistants are doing back office work. All right, now looking at with phlebotomy, there was a total of 20 questions on there. Now there's 21. So it only went up by one with uh, phlebotomy. Um, I did good on my first time with phlebotomy when I first took this one. This time I had, the passing of it is 76%. I had 55% on that last time. All right, so now you have EKG and other diagnostic tests. So that includes EKG placements, that includes EKG um, technique, uh, techniques, also recording and interpret of EKG and also the troubleshooting and maintenance of EKG. 
there were 23 questions on EKG. Now there's a total of 18 questions on EKG. I actually like how that went down because when I first took it, one of my friends told me she felt like she had so much more questions on EKG than anything. And EKG is pretty nice as long as you know so much as far as with the heart flow and the placements of everything through V1 through V6. You also got to know what the P wave is. Um, you also got to know what the QT, QRS wave is, you know, all those type of things. So, um, yeah, EKG, it really wasn't that hard. I just feel like our teacher, Mr. Tony, impacted that on us so, so much. So we wanted to make sure we actually understood the material when they were talking about EKG. Um, now, this is what front office stuff. So you have general office computer questions. This is asking as far as for what is, those are going to be questions like, what is a hard, um, a hard drive? What is a soft drive, software drive? Like, stuff like that. What do you, how do you um, print something on a computer? What do you have to press? Control, print, you know, stuff like that. So control p you know stuff like that so there were a total of 25 questions on this one um on old version now there's a total of 21 but the good thing about it general office computer skills is also mixed is a mixture of general office um, medical records so that one is like a mixture so um last year there were a total of 14 questions on just the general office medical records now it's a combination with the general office computer skills as well so 21 divided i would say it would probably be 10 questions on one and then 11 questions on the other so that's how that one was um um, both of those passing percentage is 70%. So um, you want to make sure you kind of make sure you have a good understanding as far as for what is a hardware drive, what is a software drive, you know, understanding where a, what a file is, you know, how do you um, file a, per, a patient's medical records by their last name, those type of things. So you want to make sure you understand those. Um, you also have medical office questions as far as for billing insurance. Um, this is also dealing with financial management. Uh, there was a total of 15 questions on this one last time now there's 25 so this one has a lot more questions now i okay when it deals with billing and insurance you guys i kind of get tired of that because at the end of the day it's like it's a lot of information you have to know when it comes to billing insurance and i just feel like you know that should just be because it, it deals with also um icd 10 codes as well too and if you kind of don't have a good mixture of that that can kind of throw you off but it is good to know as far as for a medical assistant i just feel like that should be its own entire field when dealing with that and um the passing for that one is 68 percent. i ended up getting a 66 percent on that and then you also have law and ethics so the passing percentage is 80 percent on that one there was a total of eight questions on that on the old version now there's a total of 16 questions on that so they kind of up some of the front office medical information but it's not to kind of like throw you off on certain things so just make sure you pay attention to that so hopefully can be, this could be able to kind of help you guys out if you guys are looking for a little bit more detail as far as for the ncct do check out my other videos um and hopefully this will be able to help you guys now this is all to help most people like i know most people that usually take the ncct they'll usually come back to me and tell me like hey your videos helped me out uh, with my first time taking it i passed and everything like that and i really congratulate that because sometimes it takes for you to kind of fail to see what you need to improve on so hopefully this will be able to help you guys out i hope everybody have a good one peace y'all Thank <laughs> you.